Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com, and today I'm doing a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign videos as well, because for me, a lot of things didn't really make sense until I combined all the energies. And because it's collective, not every energy is going to match every single person. For me, it's like being in a room full of people and whatever energies want to come out the loudest are the ones that do. So really what I want to be here is just simply a bridge to your own intuition and your own inner knowing so that you have an opportunity to sit here and listen to what wants to come up and be heard within yourself and try and really like go into it with the intention of hearing it from a place of love and like not fears, right? Okay, Cancer, my beautiful water sign friends. Let's get started. So the past energy here is the Three of Swords. This is um, experiencing some kind of heartache in the past or some kind of loss that's had an impact on you. It could be that you were in a situation where you felt like there was like too many people involved, um, people that shouldn't be involved, getting involved and getting in the middle of things. Um, but you experienced pain. I mean, at the end of the day, you experienced some kind of pain that really had an influence on you. And in the present, it's you having this passionate new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. You actually have two aces that came out in this five card spread that I'm doing for you. And that is really significant. So this is really about a complete new beginning for you. It can be a new role, like you're taking on a new identity. It could be through your work, it could be through something you're passionate about, whether that's love. Um, and the major influence here is this message of communication with swords this some kind of message so this is a messenger the page of swords so there's some kind of message coming in um it could be that you feel like you're taking a risk um in some way um for some of you this could have to do with a young person maybe someone younger than you or maybe like a teenager or something um that's having an influence on you right now. But for most of you, this is like a messenger card, some kind of message or communication that's coming in. And I feel like it has to do with this passionate new beginning, this passionate new start. This hurt or this loss or this pain that you were in or this situation that wasn't healthy for you really helped. When you look at the big picture of things and you start to see things as um, something's happening for a reason and you look back at things like, um, when you look back at things you really start to understand well maybe it really did have to happen that way because this is what opened the door for me or pushed me into having this passionate new beginning or aligning myself with something that i'm passionate about and the advice card is the other ace it's the ace of pentacles so this is very much a success card this is you um this is extremely positive this could be for some of you like success with money this could be prosperity coming in um, so really the advice here is to be open to receiving the benefits that the universe wants to send your way. So I actually just said this in another reading very recently. Um, so be sure to check out your moon and rising signs because you might hear it again. But what I would advise you to do is like before you go to bed and when you wake up to say to the universe, I accept the blessings that you're sending my way. I accept the prosperity that you're sending my way. I accept the love that you're sending my way. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, that you're trying to get this fresh start with, there is this success here, this positive success. So really we just are simply our job is to just not get in our own way, right? Not block ourselves. So not limit ourselves, not believe in limits and really affirm that you are open to the blessings coming in. I accept the blessings. I thank you for the blessings. Um, that would be the advice that I'm feeling here with the Ace of Pentacles. And then in the outcome, like the Four of Pentacles, this is going to result in you overcoming fear. So maybe you struggled before with like hanging on to a situation for too long or hanging on, it could be hanging on to anything like hanging on to the past um, maybe it wasn't the best for you, but it was comfortable hanging on to possessions of some kind. But like you're having this like fresh freeing start here with these two aces. So really not limiting yourself still. This is, I want you to see this as there is this new opportunity 
for success and for success I mean happiness right really what do you measure success in like it, the amount of joy that you allow into your life I would say would be one of the most important things so like there's a success for happiness but it it can involve money I mean here with the ace of pentacles but also this like like the ace of pentacles a very grounded energy so I would say like the message really here is allowing the blessings to come in not fearing change not fear holding on to old ways um, or past letting go of that hurt that was in your past so that you are this high vibrant open door to the blessings that are coming in for you that are yours that are written in the stars for you okay cancer i hope this message gave you um i hope you got some clarity and i want you to know that i really appreciate you guys i'm supporting you here with my love and light and i hope that you have a really beautiful week thank you